welcome to the P2C introduction training video. This training is designed to introduce users to the capabilities and interface of P2C. This training is not intended to train users on the discipline of digital forensics. Users should already have some formal training on digital forensics before using P2C for formal investigations. My name is Rob Schroeder and I'll be your instructor for this course. I am the CEO and co-founder of Paraben. I can be reached at rob at paraben.com if you have any questions. Paraben offers two different training options for P2C. The first is this free training video available to all users. The second is the P2C Fast Track live training. This course is designed to go more in depth in using P2C as an investigative tool. For more information on this class, please visit training.paraben.com. Let's go over the outline for this video training course. The training will be broken up into a series of videos. We'll start by going over the features of P2C in detail. Next, we'll follow the forensic process by showing data acquisitions using Forensic Replicator for bitstream imaging and DP2C for targeted data collections. After that, we'll go through the interface of P2C, followed by a walkthrough of the examination process. This will demonstrate a full examination while simultaneously performing a data triage exam. Next, we'll explore some of the specialized features of P2C, such as Xbox Forensics, Mobile Device Forensics, exporting email, and creating forensic containers. When you purchase P2C, you will receive a perpetual license of a P2C, one year of free subscription maintenance for updates and support, and a license of P2 Explorer Pro for mounting images, as well as a thumb drive containing P2, DP2C for targeted data triage collections. Other supporting tools for P2C include Forensic Replicator for forensic image creation of hard drives and media. Uh, of course, P2C um, supports standard image formats created using almost any tool. You can also review and analyze mobile device data acquired using device seizure. P2C supports DS case files, meaning you can utilize the advanced features of P2C in your mobile device analysis. Let's talk about the general capabilities of P2C next. P2C supports most common forensic image and virtual machine formats. P2C also supports the most common file systems such as FAT, NTFS, FATX, HFS, HFS+, EXT2 and 3, and CD, DVD. P2C has specialized data processing engines. This is one of the key features of P2C. By using a plug-in architecture, we can develop powerful, specialized data parsing and analysis capabilities without sacrificing the stability of the tool. In fact, P2C started over 12 years ago as just a specialized email analysis tool. It grew from there to handle network email, advanced searching, data sorting, Windows registry analysis, internet analysis, chat analysis, and more, until in 2008 we combined all these features into one interface. As we get into the interface, we'll see just how powerful this approach to digital forensics can be. Another impressive feature of, D of P2C is that it has minimal system requirements. P2C can run on a system with as little as two gigabytes of RAM. Of course, the more powerful the system, the faster the processing. A mid-level machine with eight gigabytes of RAM and a quad-core processor will be, will be sufficient for most examiners' needs. This leads us into another powerful feature of P2C, multi-threading. The multi-threading feature of P2C allows us to utilize the machine's processing power more efficiently. This feature allows P2C to utilize one core of your processor for each running task. For example, if you have started your sorting and indexing but want to perform other tasks such as searching or exporting, P2C will run new tasks using a different core of your processor, preventing new tasks from slowing down existing running tasks um, that are running uh, tasks that are already running. This is different from distributed processing, which pulls idle processing power for each from each core simultaneously. P2 
P2C has fully integrated and seamless databases, uh, a seamless database to help process massive amounts of data. There is no need to install a separate database for mul or use multiple hard drives. P2C has full text indexing capabilities as well. When you perform your initial sorting and indexing, P2C will create a text index database which will significantly speed up searches of sorted files. I've mentioned sort of file sorting a couple of times. This feature sorts each file in a different category such as documents, compressed files, graphics, text files, etc. based on the file header. This makes it easy for an examiner to find and analyze specific types of data quickly. It also allows you to filter data based on different criteria. One popular feature of P2C is the data triage feature. As average hard drives become larger and larger and typical examinations contain more and more data, a data triage approach to examinations is becoming more and more common. P2C's data triage feature takes the most common areas for ev evidence to reside in a window system and parses it out based on registry and system files so examiners can quickly and easily triage a system. This includes using the registry to find email, internet history, chat logs, my documents, recently used files, and common, common registry hives such as installed programs, typed URLs, USB sources, etc. to quickly find and analyze these common locations for evidence. P2C is often used for its advanced email analysis capabilities. It is very common to export email analysis results to PST or other email formats. P2C's batch exporting feature can save an examiner hours of time by allowing multiple email sources to be exported while filtering for keyword searches and dates among other options so you don't have to perform these tax tasks separately. I'll show you an example of this, just how powerful this feature can be in another segment of this training video. As I mentioned earlier, P2C supports the most common for image formats and file systems. Supported image formats include RAWDD, PFR or Parapens Forensic Replicator, NCASE E01 and EX01. Safeback, Smart, WinImage, VMware, and Virtual PC. Supported file systems include FAT12, 16, and 32, NTFS, EXT2 and 3, HFS Plus, HFS X, and CD DVD. For the specialized data analysis engine, let's talk about the specific file types supported by P2C. For network email, we support Microsoft Exchange, EDB, Lotus Notes, NSF, and Novell GroupWise. For personal email programs, we support PST and OST for Outlook, Outlook Express, Windows Mail, Thunderbird, Eudora, EML, MailDIR, Google Mbox, the BAT, and over 750 MIME formats. In version 4, P2C added support for gaming system analysis, starting with Xbox 360 and Xbox One consoles. P2C supports log analysis for Skype, Yahoo, ICQ, Miranda, Trillion, Hello Chat clients, as well as Internet History Engine support for Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. You can view parsed Windows registry hives directly in images, or you can load individual or entire registry hives in as separate evidence. P2C also supports raw memory dumps, OLE storages, archives such as ZIP, 7Z, RAR, etc., iTunes backup files, SQLite databases, DS case files, and forensic containers, which are proprietary evidence storage files. I'll go over the forensic containers and why they're useful in another segment of the training. Of course, one of the most powerful features for any forensic tool should be searching capabilities. P2C has very powerful search features. P2C supports Boolean expressions, hex searches, and regular or grep expressions. It also has a separate search for individual keywords. 
indexed keywords. This allows an examiner to focus searches on known file types that have been sorted and indexed, so searching is completed very quickly. For advanced searching, we have powerful features like recursive searching, which means as we run across things such as email archives, you can choose to search the data recursively, include, including attachments. You can also search through chat logs, internet files, archives, registry data, OLE storage, and SQLite databases. The recursive searching and sorting features of P2C are one of my personal favorites because I know the data is being analyzed more thoroughly and I'm less likely to miss something buried in an email attachment, a zip file, etc. In fact, I've seen pictures sorted out of command line steganography uh, created files using the recursive sorting feature um, from OLE storage. P2C has a com comprehensive pornography detection feature built into the sorting mechanism. By utilizing 11 different algorithms for things such as flesh tones, background elimination, face detection, body part detection, and more, you can scan images for pornographic content with great accuracy. As P2C sorts and indexes data, it detects whether file extensions match the file header and easily identifies mismatches for users. P2C supports hash databases, um, and, in, and it includes the latest NIST known file database, so you can filter out common hashes or FOCH your data. As you would expect with any forensic tool, P2C has complete bookmarking capabilities, so you can manage your case file with ease. P2C has automated data recovery features. P2C will recover known deleted files as well as deleted email. P2C will even scan recovered images for porno pornography using the illicit image detection feature. When you load in DS case files, deleted data such as text messages, pictures, and more will be shown in P2C as well. I've mentioned uh, exporting before. P2C has a uh, batch exporting for of email that you can export email databases individually with, or you can, um, as you run across them in your case files, you can utilize the same feature for searching and filtering data at the same time. You can also export files in their native format to a folder on your examination system or to a forensic container. The last feature we'll cover is reporting. P2C has many different types of reports you can create in many popular formats. This includes HTML, CSV, or comment delimited, and text. You can also create quick reports um, in XML, HTML, or CSV format of your search results. This concludes the first section of your P2C introduction video training.